Okay, so how are you doing first of all? How's your ankle? Yeah, it's okay. Um, got the stitches out this afternoon, so should be all good for tomorrow. And um, yeah, it was more just Saturday was a little bit too early just in case it sort of split back open again. But yeah, uh, fingers crossed it goes well tomorrow. And obviously Adana's back. How are you guys all feeling about that? Must have been such a worrying time for you. Yeah, it's obviously a um, pretty scary situation. Um, so yeah, he was in today, was the first time he was in today, which was, which was good to see him. And um, yeah, you know, I'm not sure of the exact process of what he has to go through now, but um, yeah, the main thing is that he's kicking about with us and um, all's well after Saturday, which was yeah, a pretty uh, scary situation to find himself in. Because you're all quite a uh, tight-knit team, so it must just be good just to see him out and about, even just sticking his head around the lock and the door, giving you all it's a little bit of sense of comfort and taking that uh, worry off you. Yeah, exactly. You know, that's, I think, anyone that goes to football or plays football, you, you, you know, hate seeing those sort of situations. But, yeah, thankfully he's all right and he's um, smiling around the changing room, which is good. That's what we like to hear now to Aberdeen tomorrow. How are you feeling ahead of that? Yeah, it's obviously going to be a, a difficult game. Um, you know, probably both teams aren't doing as well as they'd want to be doing. Um, but yeah, you know, we're sort of really focused on making sure we put sort of Saturday's performance away. Um, you know, we've probably been way too inconsistent throughout the season. Um, you know, having a good performance and a bad one, we need to try and find that consistency. But um, yeah, it's a good opportunity for us to go up there uh, tomorrow night and get three points. What are you expecting from a Neil Warnock Dons? Um, I'm not. I'm not that concerned about what they're going to do. I feel like we need to do a lot more things better, and focus on ourselves more than what Aberdeen are going to do. Um, I think when we when we do the things that we work on in training, which you know sometimes we're playing on a Saturday and I'm, I'm watching or, or playing, and and it's nothing that we've done during the week. So we need to make sure that you know everything that we're doing, sort of Monday to Friday comes out on the game day and um, yeah like I said we've not done that consistently enough throughout the season and that's why we find ourselves in that position but there's still plenty of games to go and um, it would be a great one to win tomorrow night. Is the pressure starting to like mount on you guys to get you more points on the table? Um, yeah yes and no you obviously want to always want to be further up the league um, I think everybody's under pressure no matter where you are in the situation if you look at you know, even the top end of the, the table there there's pressure but um, yeah, it's just something that we're going to have to handle between now and the end of the season. We were in a similar position last year, but um, you know, with the league being so close, at, well, you know, it was only what ten days ago that if we beat Dundee, we're in the top six, and now it's all sort of doom and gloom. So we need to make sure that um, yeah, we put on a, a really much better performance than we did on Saturday, um, and you know, win, lose or draw, then we move move on to Saturday against Livingston.